James? You okay? Hey, Holly, it's me. Um, I mean you. Uh, it's 1236, September 17th. Four years in the future. We did it. Oh my God. We did it. Holy shit. <gasps> How long were you there? Maybe a minute after your message. You didn't bring me back. No. Okay, then what happened at 1237? Wait, the beacon coherence just dropped 3%. Do it. Coherence. We need full coherence. What if we take a step back? Relocate? Set up the beacon somewhere else? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not starting from scratch. We fix it. James. I think you do. We're losing you, little by little, every time. And you're letting it happen. If I disappear, if, if I die, that's the deal I made from the start, Holly. I give everything for this. We be giving humanity the gift of time. I'm not prepared to watch you die. This is all I have. And if I have to, I'll do it alone. James. I'm sorry. I had to take his place. He was never going to make it past 1237. It happened on the very first jump. That's when he caused the split, created a barrier in time. When he trapped us. 
then he came back here knowing nothing. And there was no place for me in the timeline where he existed. And so I was pushed into a world like yours, but empty. Outside of time. Alone. Trying to find a way back to warn you. a fragment of himself every time he went back, trapping each one outside of time, were all fragments of the original. That's why I had to leave him there, to save what was left of him. You had to, because of what we did. You didn't solve the coherence. It was nominal. But even to get us there, he had to travel. How many times, Holly? 